At 12 years old, most kids are obsessed over the latest TikTok video, but a Marietta boy is focused on finishing college. He is already a sophomore at just 12 years old. Our Latasha Givens introduces us to the young man who has been defying expectations since he was a baby. Look at this. This is Caleb Anderson learning sight words. But before he could verbally communicate, he learned sign language. And by nine months old, he was able to sign over 250 words. And by 11 months old, he was speaking and reading. And this is Caleb at two, reading the United States Constitution. Of the United States. Claire and Kobe Anderson say they soon realized their first child was special. As we started to interact with, with other parents, and you know had other children then we started to realize how exceptional uh, this experience was because we had no other frame of reference by age three caleb qualified for mensa when he joined at five his family says they were told he was the youngest african-american boy to be accepted at the time caleb whizzed through elementary middle and high school and he said mom um i'm bored this is not um, challenging. It's really not helping me grow in my learning. It's like I'm, I think I'm ready to go to college. Now he's 12 years old and just started his sophomore year at Chattahoochee Technical College. What was it like being a freshman in college at your age? It was exactly how I expected it to be if I was like 18 or something. Because of his age, dad has to chaperone him on campus. So you've had to go back to college basically with him? Yes. Yeah, yeah, go back to college, you know. But he is not Caleb's study buddy. He's actually sur far surpassed me in math, so I can't help him anymore. I mean, seriously, he's in calculus too now. The Andersons have two other children, Aaron and Hannah, who are also gifted. While Caleb is outscoring his college classmates, his mother says there are more exceptionally gifted children like Caleb than we may think. I think people um, have a negative perspective, when it, a negative thinking when it comes to African-American boys. And I felt as that there are many of other Caleb's out there, mm -hmm. um, but they don't have the opportunity or the resources 